A few days ago, I was scrolling through Twitter and found an amazing thread by Brian Feroldi. In his thread, he had 15 stunning visuals that illustrate central concepts that every investor should memorize and keep in mind. In this video, we'll show you the visuals and add our own comments. This is investing in a nutshell. Number 1. In the long run, stocks win. With increasing interest rates, many investors are refocusing their investments from stocks to bonds. We believe this is a major mistake. Bonds can be a useful asset class as part of a portfolio, but it's nowhere near the performance of stocks long term. Also notice how poorly gold has fared for the last 200 years compared to stocks and bonds. In the long run, stocks win. Number 2. You make far more money by holding through bull markets than you lose by holding through bear markets. We're currently exiting a bear market and enjoying what we hope is the start of a long bull market. For those of you who held on to your stocks during the bear market, congratulations. This is now your time to shine. Historically, the bull markets last longer and bring much higher gains than the bear markets. An average bull market lasts 6.6 .6 years and provides an average return of 339%. The average bear market lasts 1.3 years and an average loss of 38%. We recommend using the bear market to go on a shopping spree buying cheap companies while you can. You make far more money by holding through bull markets than you lose by holding through bear markets. Number 3. Investors are their own worst enemy In previous videos, we've explained why most investors, including professionals, would benefit by investing in a broad-based index fund. This is a great chart illustrating our point. The average investor can't behave and usually makes poor decisions at the worst times. The average investors buy the wrong assets at the wrong time, and they definitely sell at the wrong time, crippling their long-term performance. If you belong to the group of average investors, don't feel bad. But do change your investment strategy before it's too late. Investors are their own worst enemy. Number 4. The market cycle wreaks havoc on investors' emotions The market is brutal. The last 18 months have been a proof of this and it can be extremely tough when you see your investment fall 20, 30, or perhaps greater than 50% from the recent highs. Every investor's mood and emotions are affected by this, so it's important to have a clear investment strategy and a steady mood to make sure you make the right decisions, because the market cycle will wreak havoc on your emotions. Number 5. New Technologies Put Investors Through An Even More Extreme Emotional Cycle Technology stocks will follow an even more aggressive market cycle than the other stocks. New technologies will typically get an extreme attention, and expectations will go through the roof. Just look at AI at the current market. On every single quarterly report, it's a competition on who can say AI the most. AI is currently at peak expectation, and will soon drop to a new low, before it stabilizes at a high point where it provides significant value. Be careful with hype and make sure to endure the emotional cycle if you do choose to invest. Number 6. The cost of earning superior long-term returns is dealing with large drawdowns As you can see from this visualization, there is a 5% loss or worse at some point during the year for 95% of all years. 63% or nearly 2 out of 3 years see a 10% drop or more. Even a 20% drop will occur every 4 years. Stick through the hard years because the cost of earning superior long-term returns is dealing with large drawdowns. Number 7. The intra-year drawdowns can be just as scary, even during up years. This visualization builds upon the previous one and shows the largest intra-year downturn compared to the year-end S&P 500 returns. Number 8. There will always be a smart-sounding reason to sell. You can always find bears and doomsayers predicting the next recession stock bubble, or crisis. If you keep listening to them or are looking for a reason for them to be right, it's easy to find something to blame. From March 2009 to December 2019, the S&P 500 grew 495%. In this period, Chrysler and GM filed for bankruptcy. The EU saw a debt crisis at the same time as the US debt was downgraded. The US government shut down. We saw spread of Ebola. The oil price crashed 77%. We had Brexit, China and the US had a trade war, we saw the magical yield curve invert, and much more. If you had held out during all these crises, you would look back in an amazing decade with great returns. But had you sold half of the time a crisis was announced, your returns would perish. 
there will always be a smart-sounding reason to sell. Ignore it. Number 9. Politics and investing don't mix. There are many people on both sides of the political spectrum who are convinced that their political platform is the best for long-term stock market performance. History clearly settles the current score as a draw. The stock market performs equally great with both Democratic and Republican presidents. Number 10. Ignore forecasts. For the last 20 years, all forecasts for the U.S. 10-year rate indicate that it'll go up. Professional forecasters can't even predict the direction of interest rates, let alone the magnitude. Ignore forecasts. Number 11. In the short term, changes in valuation drive returns. We can clearly see that the assigned multiple by stock analytics can impact the short-term valuation in a stock. Investors are affected by psychology and market sentiment, including reports from stock market analytics. But in the long term, changes in sales and profits drive returns. This is a perfect time to quote Benjamin Graham. In the short run, the market is a voting machine. But in the long run, it's a weighing machine. Number 12. The easiest way to increase your odds of success is to increase your holding period. Let's be clear, the best time to invest is always today. But if you're worried about how your investments are going to perform, we can use historical data to give a probability on how probable you are to make a profit. After just nine months, you will two out of three times see a profit from your investments. After two years, we've increased the odds to 74%. After five years, you can be fairly certain that your investments are worth more than what you invested. Number 13. Stocks occasionally give you nothing. It's possible to find time periods from the end of one bull market to the bottom of the next bear market where you have long time periods without any gains. However, what this visualization doesn't provide is how much your investments were worth one year prior or one year after the end date. That being said, be careful because sometimes stocks don't give you anything. Number 14. We are living through the most disruptive period in human history. The pace of innovation has been increasing rapidly for the last 50 years, and it is accelerating. We're currently witnessing an AI transformation in several sectors, including transportation, automation of work, new medicines, and so much more. With increased innovation comes increased global GDP, which in turn will lead your investments to increase to new heights. It's a great time to be an investor and to be alive. Number 15. Just start investing. Now. The earlier you start investing, the easier it is to create a fortune that can provide comforts for you and your family. Every dollar invested at age 20 is worth $18 when you reach 65. At age 30, each dollar is worth only $10. Just start investing now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.